All right, what verse am I looking for, gentlemen? 21, maybe. Absolutely. Let's read the 21st verse on down. Nehemiah, the fourth chapter, the 21st verse. So we labored in the work, and half of them held the spear from the rising of the morning till the stars appeared. From the rising of the morning until the stars appeared. That meant that that's a working day. Why did they, why did they, half of them have the spears up then? Keep reading. Likewise, at the same time, I said unto the people, let everyone with his servant lodge within Jerusalem, that in the night they may be a guard to us and labor on the day. They wanted to guard, have them to guard the night, and other half to do what? Labor during the day. So we know a day didn't start at night. All of them have been up all night, wouldn't they? Huh? Oh, here's the beginning of the day. It said a guard at night, so everybody up at night. But we knew that it was a difference. The night is a day for sleeping, and the day is a day for working. So neither I, nor my brethren, nor my servants, nor the men of the guard which followed me, none of us put off our clothes, saving that everyone put off them, all for washing. All right. Now let's get back to Ezekiel. And it reads again, Ezekiel 46 and 1, Thus said Yah Elohim, the gates of the inner court that looketh toward the east shall be shut the six working days. But on the Sabbath it shall be open, and in the day of the new moon it shall be open. The day of the new moon. So the question is, how many new years did we have? Huh? One. How many Yahweh's did we have? And how many new moons did we have every month? So what does that do if I had a calendar that says every 28 days? And another brother said, I got a calendar I made, and it says every 30 days. But every fourth, thir uh, uh, every fourth month, I add five more days, and I do this and I do that. And then another brother said, man, I'm going by the new moon. Then the other brother said, well, your new moon does not coincide with my calendar. Do you understand why the Almighty wants us to go and meet every new moon? It would destroy every argument. It would destroy every calendar that can be invented. Because right here, the Almighty is letting us know that we got to meet every new moon. Not every calculated new moon, not every new moon our calendar dictate, but every new moon that's written in the sky because he gave us the moon for the seasons. Do you understand? Any questions? But since we, everybody got a good understanding of that, you can see a lot how to eliminate a lot of organs, don't you? Oh, yeah. Huh? A lot of, lot of different calendars just got to be towed up in light and in spite of us observing this every month. Just like I told my bishop down on Redden Road. He said, right here is a New Year's. I said, how, how can it be New Year's, sir? When we, we just seen the, the new month come up today. It just came up. Two days ago, it wasn't no new, new, new month. It wasn't no new moon. I said, your old moon was still in. How can you celebrate a new month? How can you celebrate the beginning of our months in the midst of a month? That's nothing new. That's already here. You got to wait until you see a new moon in order to determine our new years. Because 14 days a year later, we're keeping the Passover. But they follow the white man. So what did they all do? They're all keeping the Passover. 